is Square Trade's Face Off Day. Now we've always tested cell phones and tablets in the past, but today we're going to shake things up a little. We're standing right outside of the fabulous b &H Superstore here in New York City. And like you guessed, we're going to be dropping some cameras today. Specifically, we're dropping the Canon EOS Rebel T5i and the Nikon D5200 to see which device can survive a four foot drop. I have here with me today, Neil Gershman, a b &H employee and a pro photographer who will help us examine the damages after the drop. Are you ready, Neil? I sure am. Well, let's get this going and see how these devices will survive the drop. Three, two, two one. Let's take a look at the Canon first. The lens came off. I'm going to go pick up the lens. Thank you. This is the Canon lens. I'll put that back. Take a look at it. The lens has some damage here. Seems to have broken. Let's uh, see if it will mount back on. It, the lens is broken. It's not staying in properly. And the power is, is not going on on the camera. It's on video, put on power. It does not seem to be working now. And I don't know where the, the lens is back over here. This lens is also broken. Seems to be coming apart. Let's see if it will mount on the camera. Similar situation, it partially mounts, but it's not staying on. Let's turn the camera on. The camera is on, or the power seems to be on, and the photo is working. Flash went off, take another picture. But the lens is not, it's not communicating. So the shutter is working, but the lens is not. The door popped open, but seems to go back. There's a crack here on the bottom near the uh, battery door. And this popped open. That goes back as well. We came into the B&H store and replaced the lenses on both cameras, putting working lenses, and the Canon camera seems to be working fine now. It's auto-focusing. Everything is working okay. On the Nikon camera, the same. It seems to be working fine with the lens. So both cameras are functioning fine, or seem to be functioning fine, with working lenses. Thanks, Neil. That was so helpful. Based on our test, the Canon seems more resilient to drops than the Nikon. Even though both cameras worked after switching out the lenses, the Nikon incurred more physical damages than the Canon. A huge thanks to B&H for hosting us for this drop test. And make sure you subscribe to us and let us know in the comments which devices you would like us to drop next.